Hi everyone, Caleb here at the Boyle County Public Library. We hope you're enjoying summer reading in the library's program so far for all ages as we're getting ready to start out our second week. Based on how many kits you've been picking up so far, I'd say it's going pretty well. In fact, if you're looking for a specific kit, be sure to stop by or call and ask for that kit to be made available for curbside pickup after it releases. They're going out very fast. Today, we're going to show you a quick and easy activity that can turn your very own pet into an artist. We tried this with dogs, so it may need a little variation on the snack you choose or a little creativity to work with other animals. In your kit, you will find a brief set of instructions, an 8 by 10 canvas, three bottles of quick drying acrylic paint in varying colors, and a zippered gallon-sized plastic bag. Now one caveat, when you're putting paint on the canvas, be sure it all stays inside the zipper bag. None of it should go on the outside. It is not edible paint. First up, you'll want to get your bag ready to place the canvas inside. If the snack you're giving to your pet is something like peanut butter, which spreads, we think it's easier to go ahead and smear it on the bag before putting the canvas inside. So just be sure your bag is nice and open and, and ready to go for that canvas as soon as you apply the paint to it. You'll appreciate that later because it's kind of hard juggling a lot of things at once. Once your bag's ready to go, you can start putting dabs of paint around your canvas. And you'll see I had three different color variations which are included in each of our kits. And, and each kit has a different set of colors. We kind of put them in a little bit at random, but we tried to get a, a good uh, set of colors to go with it. And you can spread this and apply it however strikes your fancy. If you want to put a lot of paint in certain areas or certain colors concentrated in certain areas, that's entirely up to you. Be creative. Now, if you're like me and you did get a set of white paint, um, I'd even suggest maybe mixing it in with some of the colors just to, to add a little bit of a different shade with some of them. So once you've gotten the paint on the canvas, you can now take it and put it inside the plastic bag. Now again, just a reminder, be sure that all the paint stays on the inside of the bag. This is not edible, again, and uh, just make sure that once you get that, that canvas in there that it gets sealed. And if you smear the paint around just a little bit on the way in, no worries, but try to get it in um, as best you can. Um, so that it's entirely up to your pet to, to get it all smeared around. Now you're ready to let your animal friend enjoy their snack and create a work of art in the process. We'll show you some of our own library friends in action. This is Chloe and Silas. If you've ever had the chance to meet them, which are the furry companions of our very own Kathy, our circulation supervisor, who um, had the idea for this particular program, so we appreciate her sharing it with us um, as we got ready for summer reading. And there's the finished product, and it's as easy as that. We hope you have fun with your furry little critters and continue to enjoy the summer programs at the library. If you enjoyed this activity, be sure to check us out each Tuesday during the summer reading program for a new program kit, in addition to all of the other program offerings we have throughout June and July. In fact, on Thursday, June 10th, which is going to be a week after this video premieres, Brandon Long at the Art Center of the Bluegrass will be offering a Pug Portraits workshop via Zoom, which is provided by the library. You'll learn to draw a pug, and you can transfer those skills towards drawing your own animal companion. You can find out more information on that program and any of our other activities on the library's Facebook page or the events on our website at boilpublib.org. 
Be sure to also check out all the phenomenal art programs offered by our friends and partners at the Art Center and the Arts Commission. They've got a lot of great things going on this summer. So if you're an artsy person and want to get creative, be sure to check out all that they have to offer. We hope you enjoy the rest of your summer.